Shopify Spotlight Theme Customization Step by Step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you guys how you can customize your Shopify store with the Spotlight theme. It's a really interesting and super creative theme that can bring a unique appearance of your Shopify store. So let's jump right in and get started. To do this, first off, you need to go into your Shopify dashboard, then click on online store on the left and then click on themes. You're going to scroll down under themes and you will see this section called more popular themes. Now the spotlight theme will be listed as the second theme and this is a theme created by Shopify. It's available for free so anyone can use it. From here, click on add. Now, once you click on add, this is not going to be your live store. This is going to be present in your theme library. So from taking it to your theme library into making it your live, live store theme, you need to actually publish this twice. So we're going to wait for the insertion into the theme library to be completed. And once you do that, you are going to click on publish. Then click on publish once more and now you will see the spotlight theme as the first theme on top. Now from here we are going to click on customize and we can begin with the customization of our theme. Now at start the spotlight theme can seem a bit lackluster especially if you don't have a lot of products. Now the speciality of this theme is that it is super product focused. You want people to view your products and purchase them as quickly as possible. So the first step I like to do is make sure that my branding is on point for my particular business. To do this, click on the gear icon on the most left panel. From there, click on logo and select a logo image for your business. You can also upload your own logo image. I am using this pre-existing logo image that I have uploaded. So we're just going to wait for that to be uploaded. Now, once your upload is complete, you will see your logo image and you can adjust the size of your logo with its width as well, like so. I'm gonna keep it at 110 pixels. And once I do that, I can scroll down and then go into colors. Once you go into colors, you will see different color schemes created by this particular theme. However, your personal branding might differ from these colors. Then if your personal branding does not fit within these particular editing or color schemes, you can click on add scheme and add your own color scheme. So I will add a new color scheme, which is my scheme six. And then for the button background, for my background color, I'm going to use a pale pink, like so. Now, once I've done that, I can use my text as black. I want the button background to be a darker version of my pink, like this. And then after that, for my text, uh, I think the button labels should be white, like this. Now, once I have created this color scheme, I can move on and then later on insert this into the, my, into the section of my particular store theme. Then you can also customize the overall font styles by going into the typography. You also can add layout options as well as animations, buttons, variant pills, inputs, and more. You can also customize your product cards, how you want them to appear. Now, once I have added my new color scheme and fonts, go back into sections on the top left, then select your header section. Now for me, I want this to be in my middle center, so, I'll place the, so I will place the logo in the middle center, then click on select menu. From here, you can insert a menu into your Shopify store. Now, for a lot of people, they don't even realize that you can actually use a menu in the spotlight theme because they are so used to seeing the general appearance. So I'm going to be using my main menu. And then first, I will place my logo at the top center and then click on select menu and choose your main menu. Then click on select and it will be selected. Then scroll down and you can choose your menu type. You can also choose your color scheme. You can also create a drawer menu so it only appears once people click on your menu icon. For my particular header, I want it to always be there but to just decrease the size of the logo. And now it's time to customize the color scheme. So I'm going to choose scheme 6 for both my menu and my header. Then on our homepage on the spotlight theme, we directly display our featured collection. 
This can include all of your products. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to display three products, or I think I want to display two products, but first in the header, I'm going to change the header to disappear whenever someone scrolls, scrolls down. And now I'm going to go back into my featured collection section. And from here in this particular section, I want to edit the color scheme as well. So scroll down and then click on change and change your color scheme. Now within this, there is another really important thing to notice is that you can choose the number of products you want to display in one particular row. So if you want to display more than, you know, six or seven products, you can do that as well. The minimum number of products you have to display in one row are one. I'm going to keep it at three. I think three products in a particular row look pretty decent. Then you also have the option to add a heading. So I want to write our best sellers like this now this is a heading and although the heading looks pretty nice i want this to be a medium-sized heading and then for our particular heading i think i want to further customize the font as well so first off i'm going to leave the heading as it is and then below that we have the description styles we have the product the product width as well as our outline buttons our solid buttons then the product cards so if they should be square if they should be in the portrait uh, in portrait versions i think they look better in portrait and then the image shape i will add it in the form of arches maybe or you can even add them in blobs you can add a chevron shape you can also add chevron left as well as a parallelogram, a diamond, but I think the default shape looks pretty decent. Then you can also quick add some other items as well as choose a mobile layout. Now, going back into our theme settings, I will click on typography. And then for my heading font, I'm going to change that into something a bit more interesting because I want my, uh, I want my store to have a relaxed theme. So I think this looks pretty nice and I have a few, you know, you have a lot of different options. You can scroll and see what fits the overall appearance of your particular store or your branding. Then click on select to select the new font. Now going back into our template, below that we have our footer. Now for my footer, I'm going to be using a different color scheme, which is going to be a reverse color. And then once I have completed that, our home page is ready. I can click on save on the top right. Now for our spotlight theme, if you want to change the number of products displayed on the mobile version, always click on the section and then scroll down and you will see a product card or product mobile layout. So for that, I want only two columns and I can view it in the mobile version. And this is what the website would look like under mobile versions. Then click on the top panel where it says home page and then go into products. From here, open up your product page and you can customize your product page as well. For my business, I wanted to follow the same color scheme. So I'll click on change and then change the basic color scheme. I can also change how I want my media items to appear as well as the overall positioning of the products. Once completed, click on save and click on exit and now if we view our online store this is what our store currently looks like it looks really nice it looks really uh, product oriented and if I click on any item I can go on ahead and you know choose which color I want and it looks pretty nice and well put together I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to customize the spotlight theme in Shopify if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video